Hello everybody. <clears throat> oh god, I got a frog in my throat. Let's try that again. Hello everybody, welcome to this week's update video. Um, I'm traveling at the mo moment, so I won't be able to make a full featured uh, update video until I'm back in the US. Uh, but I figured I could spend some time talking about some of the stuff that I got up to at FOSTEM. Uh, FOSTEM is the world's largest free and open source conference. And I was privileged enough to be able to go to Brussels uh, last week and basically spend time with thousands, it seemed like it was really packed. Um, other free and open source, both advocates and program programmers and other individuals, um, listen to some great talks, have some great food in Brussels. Um, so a big thanks to the Inkscape pro project for paying for my travel and, um, and my sponsors for paying for my uh, room and board. So um, one of the most interesting things that I found um, was the the main programmer behind uh, Cappy PDF, um, Yuri, was actually at uh, FOSTEM and I wasn't expecting it. And we got to actually sit down and have a talk um, about sort of like, what is the intentions of Inkscape? What is the intentions of Cappy PDF? How um, easy is it going to be to basically make Inkscape uh, fully featured in terms of the PDF output that it creates? And um, yeah, there's some really great ideas from him about like what I can do to both um, improve my integration and also some great ideas about how I can improve my um, my uh, sponsorship game in terms of ba basically encouraging more pe people to be able to spon sponsor my work and get some publicity around it, which will, which is great. Um, excellent com com conversation. I definitely wouldn't have been able to have such a detailed in-person com com conversation um, uh, without such a large event where so many people are gonna be there. Um, also at F FOSTEM, I got to meet um, about five other Inkscape programmers uh, from Mark and Tav and Chris and a bunch of other people who you guys have seen in interviews and things, but it's good to be able to meet them again, um, you know, just to talk about some of the things that are going on in Inkscape. Uh, also, there were many of the people from the free, uh, Software free Freedom Conservancy. That's the group, uh, the financial group that um, uh, operates Inkscape. So it basically holds our accounts and our tra tra trademarks and things. Uh, and so when we have issues, we generally talk to them uh, and they were there. So we got to uh, talk with them both about issues and other stuff going on in free software because they do a lot of sort of legal stuff in the free software world. Um, and yeah, it was just a really expansive, great set of talks. Um, now talks, that's interesting. So it was somebody from Microsoft. Usually I wouldn't quote people from a Microsoft that have a history, but uh, this particular talk was interesting because it was all about how we can improve the, um, this, this, the maintainability and sustainability of, uh, of open source. Uh, they were doing it through GitHub um, and they brought lots of data about uh, how various funding processes work and how easy it is for organizations and individuals to raise funds in order to do development in the open source world. Um, what was m most interesting to me was just how important the message was that, first of all, 2023 was terrible for corporate sponsorship in the open source world. Um, it, it, it fell um, in a lot of ways uh, along the lines of all of the, the firings that happened in the industry. Um, but support from individuals uh, like the kinds that support me on Patreon and through LibrePay, that tended to be more stable, um, which was great news. Uh, but one of the the lessons, the takeaways that I got from that talk was that um, a lot of users don't realize just how um, much of a need there is for their financial contributions to a lot of the projects that, that they use. And uh, it's only through asking and being able to ask in the right ways at the right times uh, without being too intrusive, without being too like over the top about it, uh, but being definitive about the fact that <clears throat> It's only through um, the the volunteerism and the financial contributions of the actual users themselves uh, that a lot of these pro projects are able to continue to be maintained. Um, and because the focus was maintenance, uh, they talked a lot about bug fixes and security and stuff, stuff like that. But um, in a lot of ways, it, it, it very much pairs with 
um, you know, just being able to keep this ball rolling, keep development happening, uh, trying to meet the needs of users specifically. Um, and I kind of like that. It meshes with the way that I've been talking about financial stuff for a while. And um, yeah, I'm hoping to be able to do more with my uh, fund fundraising, uh, specifically because, you know, uh, in, uh, in 2023, I had such a great year because one of my sponsor sponsors was basically half of my Patreon uh, fund funding. Uh, and that spot sponsor has gone away now, which means that this year I'm starting on the back foot, right? I'm starting with half the amount of money per month that I was last year. Um, and I did the calculation, if I was being paid a Software Freedom Conservancy, which is a charity, if I was being paid their contracting rates, I would only be working on Inkscape for four hours a week. Um, and that's, that's not enough hours. There's just way too much work. So I gotta step up my game. If I, if I wanna make this work, if I wanna make this sustainable, I have to somehow tap into a much larger market of people who are uh, able to contribute uh, financially. Um, you know, whether that means a better social media pre presence or some campaigns management, or just like getting out there, the fact that we have this exciting CMYK project that when it's done, will, you know, open up a vast amount of fun functionality, which in Inkscape was ne never available before. Um, but, but however we manage it, I think we do have to uh, sort of move the ball faster, um, simply because um, it, it's, it's, the maintainability, it gets harder, like as you find that you're just not raising enough to, to, to keep the, the lights on. Um, so anyway, um, I think let's talk about Inkscape in general. Um, there hasn't been a great deal of work going on inside the Inkscape pro project this week, uh, mostly because of the traveling, P people went to Fostem and things. Um, there's been a general quieting in terms of uh, contributions, but there has been some great Merge requests from new contributors. Um, you know, there's been a whole bunch of fixes in the extensions repository, some, some Python fixes. It's great to see. Um, there's been some people who have been uh, contributing to filters. Uh, I don't know if you know this, but like if you try some of Inkscape fil fil filters, they're, uh, they're not very good. Um, and I saw a merge request and I, I tried to help out in terms of reviewing the code and, and everything. I saw some, some uh, improvements to those that weren't even code, like the, the, the person wasn't contributing as a programmer, they were con contributing just improvements to those like baseline filters. So if you do like the um, the morphic and like the, the button plastic thing and a bunch of other things, he's massively, I should say, they have massively improved um, the, um, the, the output, like the, the way in which those are characterized and ren rendered. Uh, through just tweaking how the fil filters themselves are put together. Uh, that's that's amazing work. That's great. Uh, it was quite embarrassing. Some of those fil filters, the output was very shady. Uh, not shading in a good, a good way. Um, and there's some talk about running an about screen con contest as well. Uh, there's nobody to organize that yet. So it's a bit of a question about whether we'll be able to actually do an about screen con contest. If you're in interested in that particular job, please get in touch. It will be very good to have some help uh, to just do some of the organizing work. Um, it's basically just uh, following the rules, categorizing the images, making sure that people are following like the specifics, um, doing some light moderation, um, and basically being mentored by the, the web web admin about how to use the tools uh, on, on the website to run, run, the, run the, um, the event, um, including the voting. Okay, so I think that's about it for this week. Uh, hopefully this video is easy enough to edit. Uh, apologies for the uh, bad quality and uh, hopefully we'll see you next week.